Now, a lot of people that have never seen Dave Midgley's Carnivore don't realize it was made, the wing was made in molds, the fuselage, the tail pieces, all made in molds. It's basically an all composite airplane. And we just, I, I just got a couple of highlights from the old videos here of visits that we made to his shop. We had things called build-a-thons where we all got together and built parts for planes. And Dave was really on the leading edge of a lot of technology, a lot of things that had to do with the making of the molds and the resins. He was the one that got me the resin to make the tune pipes with years and years ago and made the molds for the tune pipes and for the props along with Doran Morisano who made molds for props. We just had a load of, load of good laughs developing composite technology. So we glassed it and pressed it in the molds. So you see the mold over there? Yeah, yeah, I've used the mold already. And then we pressed them down. And you see it straight as a dime. Yeah. It's very stiff, but it's 27 grams. Too heavy. Let's see how much these weigh then. Let's, just Let's uh, step one tomorrow morning when we all get out of bed and have coffee, somebody weighs the wood. Peter looks like the man, the man to weigh the wood. Are you going to be joining us, Pete, for this great adventure, or you that look like? See, I can capture the look on your face, see? Oh, see? look at that. Like being 18 again, look huh? That's the that. handling handle. That's the handle. Don't put your hand on the silver. That is awesome. It's beautiful. We hate yeah, to admit yeah, that, but it was a... Now, on purpose, these areas... Turn, I don't I'm want to touch it. You have triple tissue. Oh, It'll be on the DVDs I, I give you. I can, I know, no, you don't, don't touch sharp. it. This is triple. When you make no, the cowl, you got three, mm -hmm. maybe ten thousandths of extra material. Yeah. And it comes out to here. It, you can see the layers. One, two, three. Right. They just keep going back and back. Egg, and everywhere there's going to be a joint, there's three layers. So you'll have material to blend it in. This is the amount of material. And Les is going to make final patterns so we can have those parts laser cut ultimately. Elliot's got one flap, what, 21 degree, 21 grams? Yeah. You're closing in on that. What's Pete up to here? Pete's making some gear block parts. It actually could be closer to the wing, too. The closer you... What do you want to know? All right. Where you have these blocks, Dave... The line is five-eighths of an inch below the center line, and the block is below the line. Okay, but the lower you make the block to the wing, the stronger it is. Now, when you're making a very unique airplane, there's a lot of little issues you got to figure out, and you got to get things even and at 90 degrees here. What Dave is doing is setting the gear blocks in with 90 degree angle aluminum and using the aluminum mold to make the actual wing shell. And this is going in a vacuum bag too, right? Yeah, it is as well. Okay. We, we've got about three coats of PVA on here. Just to make sure that it really Dave's seemed. back piece came out real nice. Yeah. We we fooled with these down by my house, but they can't. This came out real nice. And then we'll be ready to put this in place and do the final fits. How you doing with the tail there, tail man? Tail's coming. Tail's coming. Okay. And Pete's got the wing working on a wing assembly. Want to make bigger and bigger planes as '90s become popular we may find we need a bigger wing well in the meantime we're going to take some of that piece off this plane is probably going to be built around the rojet 77 and we know what wing displacement we'd like to have for that size engine especially if we're going to be able to use a 14 inch prop and every way that i've ever been able to measure a wing this is probably the best wing i've ever had it is by now we had countless good hours of fun working with Dave's moles and Dave's technology, the moles that he made for the wing, just just a total labor of love and working out all the kinks of how to mount the gear and uh, just the other things and making the flaps and just a little side note, Al Raby had given me when I was in Texas one of his Mustangs and I added it up at one time to the Spitfire bedroom It was up there keeping the Spitfires company. I think they were jealous of each other but, uh, well, beside the point, at this point in time, uh, Dave Mitchell has that model, I believe. And this is the day we brought the model out for the first flight. And I do have the first flight on video. And people were oogling it and the finish. Dave, of course, put a really beautiful finish on it.
These are some really great memories. And in this heat, Uncle John wasn't lying. The long-awaited moment for Dave, this will be absolutely, positively his first feel it out flight on the carnivore. Much of this plane was built and finished on our subscriber videos, and if you're a subscriber, obviously you've seen it in many steps of construction, including building it a wing up at Dave's house, which was the Midgley Build-a-thon. That was a great time. So if you're enjoying Over many, many years, Dave and I worked together. We went to each other's shops. We visit each other. We're actually long, lifelong friends even before that, since 1988, when I met him at the Nationals and his wife cut my hair. <laughs> anyway, Dave has contributed so much to the hobby, the making the molded parts that many people use, including myself, including some of the models I have. I've used his molds, I've used his technology. We've developed things together. We've gone to meets together. We've flown each other's planes. We have a, a long history of having fun together is the bottom line. And these build-a-thons that he had up by his house, I know the, some of the old videos, I don't have the videos anymore, but I know there were copies of them out there. And we had some very interesting times. And the models that came out of these, they are really <laughs> top shelf models in every way. Now. There's parts of it that you don't see on the video. And some of them is, Dave is a very talented painter. He worked with Walt Prey. I used his technology when I made the, the fuselage for the Tiger Cat, which is 100% carbon fiber. There's no wood in the fuselage shells. I used his technology on Tribute and on many other planes. I believe the Ferrari planes. And that technology led me to being able to make many, many composite Parts for motorcycles. I'm making one of them on the video as we speak and on other planes. We made carbon fiber cowls, wheel pants, just the list goes on and on. But the wings and the carnivore was the first plane I believe that had the full composite wing. Dave gets the full credit. So thank you, Dave, for sharing. Thank you for always being a good friend. And to all the people that watched the video, thanks so much for watching.